This video is intended to show you how you can make worksheets editable for students in the web-based platform of Canvas using Google Slides online and the external tool submission option. Here is a PDF version of a worksheet and I need to fit it to page. Once I fit it to page, I'm going to take a screenshot of the PDF and convert it into an image file. You might have a different way of taking a screenshot. I'm going to use my snipping tool today. Then I'm going to do a file save as, save it to my pictures folder, giving it a name that I will be able to find easily later. I'm going to Google, making sure that I'm logged into my school account, and I'm going to go to Google Slides. From Google Slides, I'm going to create a blank presentation. I'm going to use the file menu and go down to page setup. I'm going to change the page setup to custom settings. I'm going to give it the same dimensions of a typical page, 8.5 by 11 inches. Now I'm going to delete these text boxes because I don't need these. Get them out of the way. I'm going to add a background image. So click background, select choose image button, and now I'm going to go find that image file of that worksheet that I just saved. So I'm going to browse my computer folders, go to my pictures folder, and find the file that I just saved. Click the done button and now you will see that I have that image of that PDF worksheet as my background. Now I need to add text boxes to the blanks so that students can fill them in. As you can see, I'm clicking the little T button, which stands for text box, and then I'm dragging and creating the size of the text box that I want. Now these text boxes do not have a border on them, so you can see they disappear when you're not clicking on them. So if you want to check to make sure you've added a text box to those spaces, you simply click on those spaces to see if a text box is present. Now I'm going to add text boxes to all the areas that I want the students to be able to type into. Drag them and reshape them however you think they need to fit. If you have one text box that's going to be the same size, you can highlight it, right click, copy, and then paste. See, well, I will have many text boxes of that exact size. You can add a border to the text boxes that you're creating by using the toolbar options. You'll notice there are many options in your toolbar above where you can add a different weight of a border, you can change the font, you can add font to it. If you wanted to type in the box and type in a little phrase that says type text here, um, whatever you decide. I wanted to add blank text boxes so that the students would not see the borders of them so that all they have to do is click in the space and start typing. But it's up to you however you want to create yours. Okay, now that I've added my text boxes, I'm going to go through and click on all of the blank spaces to make sure I've put a text box into each space. Now I'm ready to save my file. I use the file menu and go down and click rename. I'm going to give my file a name that I will remember later so that I can assign this to my students in Canvas easily. Okay, now we're going to create our assignment in Canvas, type out our instructions. Now we are going to add the image. So we go to the Upload Image button, we click Upload Image, and we find that image from our Pictures folder. Now we need to modify our assignment details. But the most important thing is to make sure you pick Submission Type External Tool. Scroll through and look for Google Drive Cloud Assignment. Once you select Google Drive Cloud Assignment, it will open up your Google Drive and you will need to locate the file of the fillable worksheet that we created earlier. And there's our Google slide of the fillable worksheet that we created. We will finish modifying the remaining assignment details and click Save and Publish. Okay, I'm logged in as one of the students in my class so you can see how this looks. So here's the assignment. There's the image of the worksheet that we put on there so the students can preview it. Now when they are ready to start filling out the worksheet, they need to scroll down and they will see a link to the worksheet right here. If your students are not logged into their Google Chrome account, they will not see the link to the assignment down in the bottom of that Canvas page. Here is a preview of it, but this is a very small image and it's not easy to work with. But if they click the link, 
It will open it in a new tab so that it is full sized and they can immediately start filling out the worksheet as needed. When they're done filling out the entire worksheet, they will go back to the Canvas tab and they will click Submit. Okay, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, let us know.